Oh, let's do what, let's do what, say nine. Well, there's a lot of stupidity floating around Star Wars at the moment. Um, our most favourite fictional um, critic, Doomcock, has another fictional um, story of backstage fighting um, in the Star Wars production. Apparently, um, is it John Favreau is so angry at Kathleen Kennedy for basically destroying the Star Wars he was setting up, is the story, um, that he basically walked off the set of um, The Book of Boba Fett to focus on Ahsoka because um, she had ruined it. And this was after she apparently had ruined um, The Mandalorian by firing... Um, uh, <laughs> what was her name? Uh, Gina Carano. Um, so, yeah, that that's the story that he was so... He hates her so much that he would not... Um, be on that set and he left and went to focus on that because the other shows were being ruined by her. And the talk was that he was only coaxed back to the Book of Boba Fett to try and fix it if that woman wouldn't appear, you know, on set at all. So um, this is kind of on par with Doomcock's um, stories about um, Kurtzman and the fighting backstage there and um, like, 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 I'm kind of, I was looking for the, the annual Star Trek Discovery is Fired sort of story that he normally does, but we haven't seen that this year. Um, and I guess he has to make up stories to, you know, keep feeding the fans, otherwise, you know, what's he going to do? Like, all these people built their, um, YouTube channels on, um, sort of protesting and, and, um, exposing all these bad, um, franchise moves, like, um... Ghostbusters 2016 and um, The Last Jedi and stuff like that. And they, they, they need to have something to be upset about. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Um, and yeah, apparently he has been lured back, but um, only if she's not going to be there. So, I mean, I really don't know anything about what's happening um, with these shows. I haven't watched any of them. I've seen bits of um, The Mandalorian and watched a bunch of reviews so I could work out what was happening. So I was interested, but I still hadn't watched it. Um, and I haven't watched any of the others yet, and I don't think I have any interest. I was never interested in a Star Wars TV show. But um, the other little bit of stupidity coming out of Star Wars is coming from Disney, and a company called um, Results. Apparently, someone... Because um, th they have an issue with Slave Leia, or um, the, the Hut Slayer Leia, or whatever they call that, the Leia from um, the, the Jabba the Hut scenes in Return of the Jedi. Um, she is captured, she's dressed up as um, a slave girl like all the other um, women in the court who are entertaining, and she, that still doesn't stop her from killing Jabba the Hutt and um, helping to save the day. But that's not enough, so all these people have had a problem with it. Now, I don't, I don't have any problem with that costume, it's iconic, a lot of people wear it, men wear it, women wear it, um, seriously and ironically. Um, but um, yeah, they did a t-shirt, or shirt, which was like basically black with um, all the Star Wars film artwork um, recreated. I don't think they are the original illustrations, I think they were redone by someone else. But for the Jedi one, they removed, um, well they removed, they covered up Leia's outfit, the slave outfit, and replaced it with the Hoff outfit, which is the wrong film. Had they done um, her speeder bike um, outfit or her um, Endor outfit or the outfit that she's at wearing at the start of the film when she's actually um, trying to save Han. Um, no, but they put on the Hoff outfit, which makes no sense. It's the wrong film. So not only did they change it for no reason, because it really is ridiculous. Um, I don't see what's wrong with that costume within the context of the film. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why they did that, but apparently they did that, and it's funny. A lot of people pointed it out, and they're... There is a level of ridiculous now, ridiculousness there, and um, I just sort of thought the two things warranted a video, because separately they didn't. Because I saw um, Doomcock's video the other day, and I found it entertaining. He's, he's got more characters now that he talks to. I mean, he's talking to himself. He's, he's, he plays all the characters. Um, and I just, it sort of made me, you know, sort of reminisce about, you know, the old Doomcock um, revelations and scoops we used to get all the time. We don't get as much of them anymore. Um, and then I saw this about, and I sort of thought about doing a video, and I thought, no, it's not enough to talk about, and then, um, I saw the thing about Slave Layer being a race, and I remember people talking about that, 
but this is the most ridiculous example because if you're going to do it, do it properly, do it better. Do good artwork and do it accurate. There are other costumes she wore in that film they could have substituted for, but they put Hoff on there. And if it was just one overall Star Wars image, it wouldn't matter if they mixed and matched images from the films, but it was supposed to show the, like, the film art from each film just sort of placed all over the T-shirt, and they mis mixed it up. And I'm like, really? So these people, not only do they have ish weird issues with Star Wars, but they also don't even know Star Wars well enough to get it right when they do change it. So I thought those two things, they both wanted some YouTube therapy. I needed to have a little <sighs> talk about that. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I, I'm, I'm going to have to watch these series um, at some point. But um, I don't know. I just, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I never have been. Um, I always watch the films, but I never really was enthusiastic about any of the TV series. Baby Yoda nearly made me watch um, The Mandalorian, um, and that's that's it though. But I guess I have to. I guess I have to eventually. I might marathon them all.